Hi guys, Sauce here. This is a pre-calculus content uh, lesson on E, a very special number. Now that we've introduced the limit, we can analyze the situation which will come up with a very profound result. We know how to take an infinite limit and to think about them. Let's take a look at the limit as n goes to infinity of this expression 1 plus 1 over n. We have a quotient here. n is becoming arbitrarily large and we know that when we divide something by a very large number the result is very small. So if n is becoming arbitrarily large, then 1 over n is going towards 0. This limit, as n goes to infinity, is the limit of 1 is 1, and the limit of 1 over n is 0. So this becomes 1. Let's take a look at another infinite limit. As the limit as n goes to infinity of an exponential expression, we're going to choose the base to be something very small, but over 1. So 1.01 .01 is just greater than 1. And if we raise that to the nth power, we know that this is an exponential function that has a base that grows because it's greater than 1, even though it's just a little bit over 1. As n goes to infinity, this limit will be infinity. It'll grow slowly at first, but it'll eventually go wild and head towards infinity. So we have two situations here, two expressions, both infinite limits with different results. Let's bring them together and think about the limit as n goes to infinity of the expression 1 plus 1 over n all to the nth. You can see that this new expression is a combination of the two situations before. Here we have the 1 plus 1 over n, and we know inside the parentheses as n gets arbitrarily large, then this is going to get closer and closer to 1. Ultimately, the limit will be 1. But at the same time, we're raising it to the nth power. So, what's the limit in this case? It's suggested by this limit here that if this in parentheses becomes 1, then 1 to any power is going to remain 1. So maybe the limit of this expression is 1. But by the same token, anything that is raised to the nth power when n is going to infinity, even if the base is very small, as long as it's a little bit greater than 1, the limit will be infinity. And as n gets arbitrarily large, what's in parentheses here does remain greater than 1. As n is heading towards infinity, this is always greater than 1. So raising it to the nth power suggests that maybe the limit's infinity. Which is it? Well, it's neither. There is a balance going on here. As this base, if this power base is getting closer and closer to 1, but still a little bit over, and at, this, at the same time, you're being, it's being raised to a higher and higher power, there's a balancing going on. And as n goes to infinity, the limit of this expression is going to be somewhere between 1 and infinity. And it will always come to or converge upon the same number. And that number is 2.71828 approximately because the number that this limit converges upon is irrational. It can't be written down exactly as a decimal or a fraction. So it goes on and on. It's approximately equal to that, 
But we have a symbol that we have given for the very special number that is the answer to this limit, and that symbol is E. E comes up in mathematics so much that it has its own symbol, like pi, to stand for it, and E is defined as the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n all to the nth. Let's talk a little bit more about this special number E, which the approximation is written right there. Often we use E in the mathematics that of uh, ex exponents, and you recall that a parent exponential function has a graph that looks like this, but instead of a base 2 to the x, it's very common to see e being used as an exponential power base. And of course, the inverse of an exponential function is a logarithmic function, whose sketch looks like this. And when the logarithm is the inverse of the uh, power base e, then we call this a natural log, and its symbol is ln x. Ln x, we can think of, when we say it, we say natural log of x. And the natural log of x is equivalent to log base e of x. And it is written with an L first. You might think the n would come first in natural log, but the ln is from uh, Latin. And the Latin log natural puts the L first when we write it down.